Palestine. We know 
know that Wall Street is dripping with blood from head to toe. Just as its present is bloody, so is its past. We know that Wall Street is NYC's biggest financial hub, but it started with slavery. Wall Street was the first official slave market in the 1700s. Yes. And its name refers to an actual wall that was built by enslaved people to protect Dutch settlers from the raids, so-called raids, of indigenous people. The stock market is the engine of America's capitalist war machine. And its walls a reminder of the bloody history of, this, of that street and of American capitalism and imperialism, which has murdered and enslaved millions all in the name of wealth and domination. And this logic of this bloody project is the same one that the Zionist entity uses. Joe Biden once said that Israel is quote, our best investment, where we get the biggest bang for our buck. To Joe, Biden, to Joe Biden, Palestinian blood is cheap because it secures the wealth of American empire. But come next November, we will remember and we'll show Genocide Joe just how big of a mistake he made. for those who support, fund, and make money from genocide. Yes. To today's war criminals and genocide profiteers, your empire is collapsing. <laughs> and has been dying for some time now. Your world order is dying and will soon join the likes of Kissinger. <laughs> History will not treat you kindly, and your legacy will be the hell that you un unleashed on the oppressed. Yeah. We are fighting for a new world, for liberation, for a world of dignity, a world of justice, and this new world, it is on the horizon. Yeah. We carry a responsibility towards the Palestinian struggle and the Palestinian people. We owe them our strength, and resolve. We owe them everything because Gaza will liberate us all. We have a responsibility to advance the struggle wherever we are in the world and we must dare to fight for our future. So we demand a permanent and immediate ceasefire. We demand the release of our heroic prisoners in Palestine. and demand an end to all U.S. complicity with Zionism. Yeah.